Well, John, thank you for giving us your information about the event next Monday, 26th of September. What I'd like to talk to you about now is going forward, what other events do you have planned? I, I, I know, for example, you've done events in the past that I've been at. Club Redfern is an example. Do you have plans to make this a regular ongoing thing or are these more sporadic just a, as new developments emerge? No, over the last well, 25 years I've done quite a few, few uh, seminars all the way from Cairns down to Hobart and everywhere in between and uh, I've always been at the local clubs, been invited and so forth. You have done a lot of events. Is it mainly Eastern Seaboard, Cairns down to Hobart, but you've gone inland a bit as well? Oh, uh, only country towns around New South Wales and the Werris Creek and things like that, but uh, I do have another event I hope to pull off in the Parramatta area because they're opening this brand new library in Parramatta next, uh, next Friday. Uh, and I've made inquiries about doing a, a talking freedom there. That will be a beautiful centre for talking freedom because Parramatta is uh, the, the, the heart of Australia. If there was no Parramatta, there wouldn't be any Australia because they were starving in Sydney, so they went to Parramatta. And in Parramatta, they had the Libertarian Society We went with and all these uh, noble people back then. They were fighting for trial by jury and all their rights as if they were living in England. So Parramatta, uh, I hope to have uh, ongoing events there in this beautiful, beautiful facility right near the station and I hope to do things by Zoom because uh, Australia is a vast country, what, 7 million square miles or something or other and people in Perth can't get there but if we have Zoom uh, proceedings can go anywhere in the world uh, and we've got to set an example not only for ourselves but our neighbours as well uh, New Zealand and Canada and so forth they're in the same predicament <laughs> they, they think they're going to be uh, reigned over by King Charles III and they're so much nonsense in fact the, uh, the state governors and the governor general here said oh, long may he live and reign over us Oh, it's a bulldust, you know. We're not, going, we're, we're not going to be reigned over by a king. We are an independent, uh, self-respecting, great country, fantastic country. Probably it'll be one of the best countries in the world, but we've got to start off on the right foot. We've had a false step with this uh, betrayal 120 years ago, but now we've got to refocus. And, and, and set our course uh, correctly. Well, I think Parramatta is generally considered approximately the geographical centre of Sydney. Yes, it is. So for any listeners and viewers in the Sydney area or, or the greater Sydney uh, metropolitan area, they shouldn't have too much trouble getting to Parramatta. And I think you just mentioned the venue is also quite close to the train station for those using public transport. Yes, from Parramatta Station is a short walk to the Club Parramatta but it's an even shorter walk to the public library, this new complex, wonderful, wonderful Parramatta Square. It's right at the station. Uh, so I hope to be conducting similar or repeat sessions. Yeah, it's, it's a bit repetitive. Uh, justice and fairness is, is repetitive, but you, you, you've got to keep at it because the, the price of liberty is eternal vigilance. You can't go to sleep. It's got to be in your face all the time. Unless you fight for your rights every day, you've got none. And this, this is where the bad buggers take over. And they say, oh, they're falling asleep. Oh, they're apathetic, you know. And we can steal their property. We can <laughs> do whatever. We can bankrupt them, you know. And that's the whole idea of all, all the, this international debt is concerned because they want to bankrupt us so they have uh, debt for equity. They'll take our property by, by falsely setting up uh, all these bank loans and, and borrowings and so forth, they are deliberately put us into debt so they can steal and unless we're aware of what's going on.